Hello friends, what I have for you today is how to control a servo motor using an RC radio, but that's not only that, actually using in between Arduino. Normally this, um, this RC radio control is capable of actually directly using the receiver we can hook directly the servo motor and it will be able to control it but why do we then need Arduino? Arduino is the interest of introducing Arduino in between is because we can do more stuff so if we want to build a autonomous vehicle for example we will need to use some sensors and use the a loop with feedback from the sensors we can actually um, let um, a microcontroller like Arduino control these um, servo motors so first of all I'd like to actually explain to you the wiring before we get into the software and then the demonstration of how this works so the wiring is very simple actually the servo draws a little more current than what the Arduino board can provide in the real world you wouldn't be actually powering the RC um, through using this uh, Arduino board because it can only provide a small amount of current and if you do use a um, you will need to use an external battery with that said let's uh, basically go through the wiring so um, for now we basically use the ground in 5 volts of the Arduino red is for the 5 volt and uh, black is for ground and I put them on the rail of this breadboard and then from the breadboard I basically power both the uh, receiver and also to power the servo the receiver basically has a plus and minus you can power the receiver through any of the uh, uh, of these pins the outside couple pins on any of the channels we have a six channel receiver so and I decided to power it through the um, pins of number one of the channel and then the inside pins are actually the ones that output pulse width modulation signal to control the actuators in our case the servo motor I use it channel 1 wires plus and minus to power the receiver and we have this is channel 1 output uh, it's basically wired to the Arduino board uh, uh, pin number 3 and then channel 6 which I'm going to be using for calibrating the range of the uh, the range of uh, travel of the uh, stick through um, uh, through channel six, and then the servo. <coughs> the servo wiring is also very simple. So we have uh, the plus and minus are uh, are taken from the the breadboard rail and then the uh, signal the output signal or input signal for the uh, servo is coming from the uh, from pin number nine the reason I chose pin number nine because so we can see that there is squiggly lines in front of pin number three five six nine ten and eleven the uh, squiggly line is a sign for PWM and that's pretty much it for the wiring so now that we know how the wiring is done let's get into the software now well, let's get to the uh, software part and uh, see what kind of uh, program I have sketched for the Arduino So this is the uh, sketch that I created which we will be uploading into the Arduino and that will enable us to um, use the RC um, radio to control the servo here and I'm gonna go through it try to um, be, um, 
try to be as detailed as possible but at the same time be concise to keep this um, under as short as possible so first uh, I include the servo library which is this line and then um, this servo actually provides a um, a class servo which we need to instantiate and create an object from which we will be able to control the servos and then we have global variables so I define also the servo object as a global variable when we have three pins as I discussed in the wiring we will need to define pin number three four and nine for number 9 is going to be used for the servo to control send a pulse width modulation signal to the servo and then um, we will be reading inputting signal of the channel 6 and 3 from the uh, receiver into the Arduino board then we define uh, the calibration values max and min and I put them in midpoint 1500 and then we have also a uh, duration or duty cycle which is the width of actually the pulse width that we will be reading using a built-in function called pulse in <coughs> and um, and then in the setup all I am doing here is I am defining the pins of channel 1 and 6 as inputs and then um, well, I'm gonna also use the serial monitor which well, we, the serial monitor is simply an interface that we use through the PC to look at uh, the progress of a code say or, or to output from the Arduino board into the PC but it's here the purpose of using it is mainly for debugging and to watch the progress and see whether I'm doing everything uh, in the right order and then um, and then I'm attaching basically the pin uh, servo pin number 9 into the object we then have the loop and this is where all the action happens <coughs> inside this uh, loop function we first do in this section a calibration so we check for the signal whether uh, for the uh, channel 6 to see whether actually the signal is um, is at the highest and if it is then we do the calibration here inside it otherwise we exit this loop and basically do the next steps so so depending on the level of this stick if it is middle or low then we want to go inside that while loop but if it is pushed up then basically we will go inside the loop and then this is for channel one the stick <coughs> now let's uh, explain what's in the while loop so in the while loop basically we get the duration of the uh, or the width of the pulse from channel 1 which we will be using during this this calibration loop it, this loop will be a wild loop as long as this um, is set on calibration mode the channel 6 then we will remain inside this loop so first we we read the channel 1 we then update the maximum and min using these simple lambda expressions which are basically um, updating the max if the new duration that was read from channel 1 is larger than the existing one the current value otherwise it will it will keep the max and this is the same thing for min it will compare the duration if it is smaller than min then it takes it otherwise it will keep the, va the current value we then uh, before we um, we repeat the uh, before we exit and go back to the condition in the while loop we have to go and read what's the value in channel 2 
suppose now we, chan we change the value, then we will exit this loop. That's how we can exit the calibration. With that said, now let's go further. And um, once we have passed this portion of the code, we then um, basically uh, read what's in the channel. Now, in, now at this point, basically all we're doing, we are controlling the servo. So we go inside this guy and we read we read the pulse width from channel 1 and then we uh, this is just for debugging so I'm going to show the values in the monitor to see what what the values are and then here in the control servo we basically look at max and min um, we use this uh, function which is right here and that's what actually does the control so it's very simple so all it does it uses the maximum and min values for the range because it needs a range to convert the pulse width the duty cycle into angles from 0 to 180 and by mapping those values from min and max to this range and then uh, writing that into the object and this actually what does control the servo and that's pretty much it so now that we've uh, explained the software part let's get into um, the demonstration so let me turn on the radio so and let's open the uh, serial monitor that's our serial monitor so as soon as we upload the program or the sketch that we have here into Arduino this uh, serial monitor starts updating with showing us the uh, the values that we're outputting the max and min as well as basically what the uh, stick level is so watch what's gonna happen now we just press upload so you can start seeing that let's stop the auto scroll so we can see that the min and max values are actually 1500 as we defined them initially and the stick value is 1493 which is right now almost in the middle <coughs> Well, this value usually changes it's not accurate anyways so um, and also depends on the sub trims on the radio so we can actually change we can trim the radio and this value will change so right now it is not doing calibration yet so if I show you that we will not let me bring the in, in sight bring both the, um, the servo and put them both on the side so we can see both what so here I am changing the um, I'm trying to control through channel 1 but nothing is happening to the servo that is because we haven't calibrated the range yet so it cannot it doesn't know what those values are it doesn't know what to do with them so you can see here if we I don't know how to slow the monitor the pace but if I show <coughs> if I basically if I try to control here you can see that the values will change from maximum to mean values so we can quickly uh, let me stop it here and show you that the values have changed which is reading quite a lot of values but you can see that it went with this value to uh, from the extreme to the min value you can see that 
so I was these are the stick levels values but but the servo is not moving yet so for that we need to do calibration so how do we enter calibration by simply pressing putting the channel 6 into high as you can you don't um, as you can see we don't hear the servo anymore and we stop the printing uh, of the values and that means now we entered basically the calibration so right now we're inside the while loop and we're basically uh, trying to see what's going to happen so let's do let's calibrate it now we have covered the extreme values or we can now exit and watch now what happened two things happened one is the servo chain now is in the middle because the stick is in the middle and two the maximum and min values have updated if we stop it they're no longer 1500 so the max is actually what the maximum values of the stick can be and the min is what the uh, min value can be the minimum level of that stick so now watch watch carefully as I move the stick now the servo is also moving thank you for watching